In preparation for today's class, it would be fun to have a scarf, bandana, or napkin, and a shaker is always fun for the songs. Hi everyone, it's Miss Tamara from the Central Branch of the Howard County Library System. Thank you for joining me for Family Time. We have rhymes and songs, stories, colors, and counting. We'll include some American Sign Language. So let's get started and have some fun. Let's start with our hello song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Let's have a great time together. There are four seasons that make up the year. Do you know what they are? Let's start with spring. Can you do that? It's like you're almost holding maybe a, a potted plant and oh, it grows. Spring. And then there's summer. Can you do that with me? Summer. Sometimes it gets so hot. And then we have autumn or fall. And then there's winter. Let's do those again. Our four seasons of the year are spring and summer and autumn or fall and winter. Our word of the day is going to be, which one is this? That's right, it's autumn or fall, since that's the time of year it is as we're recording this program. Oh, I think we have a friend with us. I'd like you to meet Mr. Chitter. That's right, Mr. Chitter is my buddy the squirrel, and he'll be joining us for our class today. Oh, you have something to do? All right. Well, he'll be back. I have a song that I think you probably already know. Way up high in the apple tree. Way up high in the apple tree. Do it with me. Way up high in the apple tree. Three little apples smiled at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came an apple. Mmm, it was good. Now we have two apples. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came an apple. Mmm, it was good. We have just one apple left. Way up high in the apple tree, one little apple smiled at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apple. Mmm, it was good. Way up high in the apple tree, no more apples smiled at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. But I'm going to have to wait till next autumn to get more apples. But mmm, they're so good. It's a nursery rhyme. I hope you're not afraid of spiders. Do you know the story of Little Miss Muffet? It begins with a tuffet. Let's meet Miss Muffet. Have a seat. Here we go. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. But along came a spider who sat down beside her. Hello! and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah! Say it with me this time. Little Miss Muffet 
sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her. Hello! And it frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah! Look out, those autumn leaves are falling everywhere. Do you have a scarf or a napkin handy for this song? Or maybe even a leaf from outside? All right, sing along with me. I have a leaf on my head. I have a leaf on my head. I have a leaf on my head. And I'll keep it there all day. Until the autumn wind blows it to my shoulder. I have a leaf on my shoulder. I have a leaf my shoulder. I have a leaf on my shoulder and I'll keep it there all day. Here comes the wind. Now it's on my arm. I have a leaf on my arm. I have a leaf on my arm. I have a leaf on my arm and I'll keep it there all day. Here comes the wind. Now it's on my toes. I have a leaf on my toes. I have a leaf on my toes. I have a leaf on my toes and I'll keep it there all day. Now the wind has blown it to my knees. I have a leaf on my knees. I have a leaf on my knees. I have a leaf on my knees and I'll keep again to my hand. I have a leaf on my hand. I have a leaf on my hand. I have a leaf on my hand and I'll keep it there all day. Here comes that autumn wind. It's blown it to my tummy. I have a leaf on my tummy. I have a leaf on my tummy. I And I'll keep it there all day. And it tickles! Let's do a song from Carol Peterson's album, H-U-M, called When It's Autumn. We're going to add some American Sign Language for the color yellow. Can you do that with me? Yellow. And the color orange. And the color brown. And finally, the color red. All right, <clears throat> please sing with me. There are yellow leaves, there are orange leaves, there are brown, and there are red. When it's autumn, when it's autumn, they keep falling on my head. A little faster. There are yellow leaves, there are orange leaves, there are brown and there are red. When it's autumn, when it's autumn, they keep falling on my head. One last time. There are yellow leaves, there are orange leaves, there are brown and there are red. When it's autumn, when it's autumn, they keep falling on my head. Don't you love the leaves in autumn? Let's go jump in a pile. Five little acorns. Look what I found under the beautiful oak tree. Five beautiful acorns. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. In American Sign Language, one, two, three, four, five. I love gathering acorns and chestnuts this time of year. It's one of my favorite things to do. We have 
five little acorns found by a tree. Along came a, a squirrel, just as hungry as could be. He saw those acorns and wanted them for lunch. What's he going to do? He grabbed an acorn and we hear a big crunch. <laughs> that leaves us with one, two, three, four acorns. Four little acorns found by a tree. Along came a squirrel just as hungry as could be. He saw those acorns and thought, what a fine lunch. And he grabbed an acorn. Uh-oh. Got it. And we hear a big crunch. <laughs> that leaves us with three acorns. Three little acorns found by a tree. Along came Mr. Squirrel, just as hungry as could be. He saw those acorns and thought, what a fun lunch. And so he grabbed an acorn and we hear a big crunch. <laughs> that leaves us with two acorns. Two little acorns found by a tree. Along came Mr. Squirrel, just as hungry as can be. He saw those acorns and thought, what a fine lunch. And he grabbed an acorn, and we hear a big crunch. <laughs> One left. One little acorn found by a tree. Along came Mr. Squirrel, just as hungry as could be. He saw that acorn and thought, what a fine lunch. Is he going to take this one? He grabbed that acorn. Let's wait for it. Here comes a big crunch. <laughs> that leaves us with no acorns. Time to go gather some more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the motions to the sleeping bag chant. One of my favorite songs that's perfect for autumn is from Carol Peterson's HUM album, and it's called the sleeping bag chant. Have you ever slept in a sleeping bag? You jump in and you zip it up. Some sleeping bags even have a hood that comes around your head so you're really snug. Well, we're going to be in our sleeping bag, but we can't get to sleep because there are bats and owls and coyotes. And sometimes you hear things that you don't know what it is, and it makes it sound even spookier, even though it's probably something very common. So, crawl into your sleeping bag, zip it up. Oh, this beautiful autumn night. I was lying in my sleeping bag. I couldn't get to sleep when the wind began to howl. And the bugs began to creep. So I rolled to the left and I rolled to the right and I heard every sound that you hear at night. <gasps> Bats. Flap, 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 flap. They're eating all of those pesky insects. Oh, let's jump back into our sleeping bags. Ready? Zip. <sighs> I was lying in my sleeping bag. I couldn't get to sleep when the wind began to howl and the bugs began to creep. So I rolled to the left and I rolled to the right and I heard every sound that you hear at night. Owls. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. Who are you? Bats. Crawl back in your sleeping bag. Zip it up. Let's get some sleep. 
I was lying in my sleeping bag. I couldn't get to sleep when the wind began to howl and the bugs began to creep. So I rolled to the left and I rolled to the right and I heard every sound that you hear at night. Coyotes. Oh, oh, oh. Let's jump back into our sleeping bags. Ready? Zip. I was lying in my sleeping bag. I couldn't get to sleep when the wind began to howl and the bugs began to creep. So I rolled to the left and I rolled to the right and I heard every sound that you hear at night. What was that? It sounds spooky. There it is again. It sounds really spooky. And the coyotes. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh! And the owls. Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! your sleeping bag. Zip it up. Try to go to sleep. See you later, alligator. It's time to say, see you later, alligator. Our sign for alligator and crocodile because when they close their mouth, their teeth still show. And then we need a uh, dinosaur, and a ladybug, and a jellyfish, and a butterfly. Join me as we sing. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile, out the door, dinosaur, give a hug. Ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish, wave goodbye, butterfly. Thanks for joining me today. Little Miss Muppet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Mm, curds and whey are delicious. Along came a spider who sat down beside her. Hello! And frightened Miss Muffet away. She's terrified. Do you see my spider? How many legs does my spider have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spiders are not insects, they're arachnids because they have eight legs. Can you tell how I made my spider? Four and four. Now this spider, I put two eyes on it, but it's easy to remember how many eyes spiders have because it's the same as their legs. Spiders have eight eyes. Now, if you'd like to make a spider like ours, you can trace your hand. And a lot of times when I think of spiders, I think, ooh, I need black paper. But spiders come in so many amazing colors. So if you trace your hand on white paper, you can color your spider any color you like. You like. Put it on a string, and you can act out Little Miss Muffet and the Itsy Bitsy Spider, 
or even make this a fall decoration. Hi everyone, I'd like you to meet Little Miss Muffet, who sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. She loves curds and whey. When along came a spider, who sat down beside her, and frighten Miss Muffet away. Woo! No? It didn't scare you? Miss Muffet is very brave. My Miss Muffet is named Toby. But he doesn't mind playing parts, right? As long as you get a treat. Can you speak? 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 Oh my goodness. Okay, that's enough for Miss Muffet. Okay, okay, sit. Are you Miss Muffet? You like playing Miss Muffet? You do? You do? Okay, well then, gentle. Here's your treat. Okay. For our next activity, you'll need to gather some autumn leaves. And if you have some broken crayons that you want to peel the paper off, Scissors and a glue stick would be helpful, and some paper. Have you done leaf rubbings before? I remember doing this as a kid and loving it, and doing it with my own children, and we're going to do it today. So this is a regular piece of copy paper, and we'll take our leaf, put it underneath, Decide where we want it on the page. Your crayon of choice. And start rubbing. And all the veins and the leaves, those beautiful patterns, come through. Like so. And you can go ahead and fill your whole paper. Or you can create animals or scenes. When my paper was full, I went ahead and cut it into four pieces, and now I have four greeting cards that I can send to friends. Or you may want to frame your work, or it actually looks pretty, pretty nice just hanging in the window. So I hope you'll try some leaf rubbings, and you may even want to identify the leaves that you pick up outside. Have fun! Visit your library website for additional autumn-themed materials. Under eContent for Kids, check out Book Flicks, where you can read a book, have it read to you, and there are great activities to accompany the books. Or National Geographic Kids. Would you like to meet a tarantula? They have videos, books, and pictures. At the time of this recording, the Howard County Library System branches are open for contactless pickup. We look forward to seeing you soon.